We like to be in control. We see control in relationships, friendships, marriages, all walks of life in society. People seek to have control. It is in their destiny to control others. This is a time when we need to have Jesus driving our lives. And so many in the world today are letting this world do the driving for them. They're not anchored in faith. They're not believing that God is the path for everlasting life. Jesus can take the wheel for your life. He can keep you from wrecking, crashing, going in dishes, getting picked up by strangers. He is our guide for heaven. In the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verses 5 through 7, Peter mentions, for this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness into goodness, knowledge into knowledge, self-control. Control yourself by allowing God to take over. And to self-control, perseverance, into perseverance, godliness, into godliness, mutual affection, into mutual affection, love being the greatest example. See, there are those who talk about how much they love the Lord. But their actions and the way that they live are completely opposite. We love the Lord by letting him take the wheel. That's part of repentance. Giving up your old way and walking in newness. See, to walk into newness, that means you have to go in a different direction. Look at the world. Do you see the world being headed in the right direction? Look at the chaos. Look at lives that are being destroyed. Look, think about how you feel on a consistent basis. On the inconsistencies. And what many they may see as incompetence in the forms of leadership, parenting, people that are in authoritarian positions. And they are not living by the right example. The time is right now. To see God for who he is and what he can do in your life. He is truly the provider of everlasting life. Nothing this world can do to put you on the right track. It may feel like the world is in control. But we see the damages. God wants you to come now while it's today, while you're breathing before it's too late. 